The National Weather Service confirms an EF1 tornado touched down at Beaver Creek yesterday. And while it was not on the ground for long, the destruction it caused can still be seen this morning. Jake Ryle joins us live as he continues our team coverage with where the cleanup goes from here. Jake? Well, John, I think it's very important to note that where I am standing right now in this parking lot, this is technically considered the Green Crossing, not the Green Shopping Center, which most people are going to be familiar with, which is just actually across the street from where we are, maybe about two, three, or 400 yards from where we are standing right now. Uh, I did have a chance to speak with uh, Burger King here, just over across the street from the Green here in the Green Crossing. They are open for business. However, the Waffle House just to my right is actually not open, a 24-hour Waffle House house is not open. Uh, however, this is about 10 hours after this EF1 tornado swept through and you can just see some of this damage. Even uh, here early in this morning, you can see some of the trees that are still down in this parking lot. It is still going to take quite a bit of uh, cleanup and rescue efforts to be able to get some of these uh, trees out of this parking lot. Now, cars were seen flying into the air. Some rolled onto their side yesterday afternoon. One truck was tossed about 60 yards all from this tornado from a Waffle House that we mentioned to that Hancock Fabric Store here in the shopping center. It also did some damage to the neighborhood behind the green crossing. But as for Beaver Creek Police, they say three foot wide trees were also uprooted and caused roof damage at some of those homes behind this shopping center. As for witnesses to see it all unfold, it was a scene that they never expected to be in. And that wind was coming. People were getting knocked down trying to get to their car. I had to run into the closest store there, which was Justice for Girls. There was about five women in there, including me, had to hold the door shut together because the door almost knocked off is how bad the wind was. Like the justice sign got knocked off. People were getting thrown down. It was just really scary. And as daylight does approach here in Beaver Creek, you should be able to get a little bit better feel for just how much destruction and damage was done by just an EF1 tornado, but still had plenty of damage and destruction done. You can still see trees here in this parking lot, a tree behind me. So there is going to be quite a bit of cleanup when it comes to this. As for some of these uh, offices and the uh, businesses here in this uh, shopping center, this green uh, shopping center here, we are still trying to figure out if they are going to be open for today. We're to be updating this story all day long, all morning long on WDTN.com. Reporting live in Beaver Creek, Jake Ryle, 2 News Today, working for you.